In this video, I'm going to show you how to write the perfect asterisk page title meta description for your website. Asterisk perfect doesn't exist. Well optimized page titles, i.e. title tags and meta descriptions can help increase your click through rate from search, get you more traffic from organic search and also help your rankings. So they're really, really important. In fact, we go so far as to say that page titles in particular are word for word, one of the most important SEO elements on any page of your website. So first up, what are page titles and meta descriptions? Well, page titles and meta descriptions are both forms of metadata. So meta Metadata is code on your website which isn't actually visible when you're browsing on a page. So let's look at page titles first of all. When you're navigating on a website and you see the title of that page in the tab, that is usually the page title. Likewise, when you're on Google and you see this big blue link, or it's purple once you've clicked on it, blue link at the top here, this is the page title. Now the meta description is the descriptive text that's there. So that's what page titles and meta descriptions are. How do they impact SEO and how do they help you get more traffic to your website? Well, they help you get more traffic to your website because if you have compelling page titles and meta descriptions, when people see your page in the search results, they're much more likely to click on it. So I've just searched for how to write page titles and meta descriptions and you can see that Exposure Ninja's blog post on this topic is ranking at the top of Google. We have the featured snippet and we also have this top organic result here. Now you can see that because I've searched for how to write page titles and meta descriptions, that's the terminology that I have in my head. That's what I'm looking for. So what have we got here? We've got how to write page titles and meta descriptions. That matches exactly what I'm searching for. And then here we have title tag 2019 SEO best practices. It's kind of what I'm looking for, but doesn't actually use the same terminology and so on and so on and so on. So because I've matched exactly what the search query is, I've got the most chance of getting that click and also showing Google that I'm really relevant for that term. Exactly the same with meta descriptions. If for example, we see a meta description like this, learn how to write the best meta descriptions here, although page titles might vary, all pages will appear to be the same because of the dot, dot, dot. It's a poorly formatted meta description and it's gonna make me less likely to click on it because it's less descriptive and it's slightly confusing using as well. Now what's often happening with meta descriptions is if Google doesn't like the meta description you've submitted, it's just going to be using its own and it's going to create its own from the content on your page. And that's most likely what's going to have happened here. So page titles and meta descriptions are important because they're going to increase the percentage of people that see your website in search results and click through and visit your site. And obviously it's the visitors that we want. It's all well and good ranking on Google, but if people aren't actually visiting your website, they're never going to be able to convert. Every page on your site has a page title and has a meta description if you choose to use them. Probably the easiest way to find your page titles and your meta descriptions, if you go view page source on any page and what you're looking for is this section here which starts with the little title tag and inside that is the page title. The next thing that you're looking for is the meta description. So that'll start something like meta name description and then you'll have the metadata which makes up your meta description. If you're using WordPress, for example, you can see the Exposure Ninja site is built on WordPress. We're using the Yoast SEO plugin and that's allowed us to put the meta description in there. The page title is set on the WordPress page editor itself. So every page on your site should have a different page title and should have a meta description and you can see them behind the scenes here. So how do you write the perfect page title and meta description? Well, the first thing that you need to do is you need to do a bit of research and see how Google is showing page titles and meta descriptions in your searches. So for example, let's head over to Google and we're gonna search for Landscape Garden in Nottingham not the sort of search that you would usually use if you were looking for a masterclass in page titles and meta descriptions, it has to be said. So up at the top here, we've got the ads. They're not page titles and meta descriptions. They look like them, but these are obviously set inside the Google ad platform. Down here where we have the organic results, this is where we have page titles and meta descriptions. So we can see that some of these have been truncated. For example, you can see there dot, 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 dot. Some of these are shown in their entirety. For example, that one. Now this is actually a pretty good page title because what have I searched for? Landscape Gardeners Nottingham. And we can see here that the page title uses our target keywords there, Landscape Gardening Nottingham. So it's using the phrases I've searched for, which is a good idea. Here's 
is my builder, same sort of thing. Landscape gardeners in Nottingham, pretty good. And what they've done though is their page title is too long, so Google's truncated it. This one here says Garden Design Nottingham, which isn't actually what I've searched for. I've searched for Landscape Gardeners Nottingham, which is slightly different. So one of the things that they could do to push this site even further up the rankings and possibly challenge for position one is to have a landscape gardening page on their site, which is called Landscape Gardeners Nottingham. Now, if we move over to having a look at the meta descriptions, we see a similar sort of thing. So some of these are showing the meta description in its entirety, and some of them are showing a kind of truncated and automatically generated one using the content from the page. Generally, you want to have as much control over how your site is shown in search. So you want to try and keep under character limits to make sure that your meta description is being shown exactly how you intend. So when you're having a look through and researching the sort of page titles and meta descriptions that you're seeing in your space, one of the best things to do is to think about the sort of things that are enticing you to click through into the website. So things like USPs and reasons why your business is different to somebody else can be a great way of attracting clicks. For example, let's imagine that one of these landscape gardeners offered a free landscape garden design service where they designed it free of charge and then they'd come and build it out if you wanted to work with them. Well, that might be a really useful thing to put in their meta description because then when I see that, I'll think, oh yeah, that looks great. That's a great first step for me to take. And I click through onto the website website. The great thing is they've just got me as a visitor to their site, but also I've now got in my head, oh, where's that free design consultation? So I'm already kind of pre-converted on that thing. And when I get on the page, I'm looking for that call to action. So I'm more likely to convert. In meta descriptions, you typically want to stand out. You want to give reasons why people should click on you rather than somebody else. In the page title though, it's slightly different. Because Google uses the keywords mentioned in the page title as a ranking signal, you want to make sure that you're using your target keywords in your page title. It doesn't matter so much in your meta description, but in your page title, it's particularly important. And where possible, you want to use them at the start, because if I've just searched for Landscape Gardeners Nottingham, what's the first thing I want to see? I want to see Landscape Gardener Nottingham, ideally, because that's the thing I've searched for. I'm looking for that familiarity, that recognition, right, I'm in the right place, let's go. Another thing that can be really useful to do is understand your searcher's intent. So if in the meta description I'm talking about are we going to show you, you can learn how to do this, discover the, the template for the perfect page title or meta description, that's going to be much more attractive to an informational searcher. If I was searching for a landscape gardener in Nottingham, that's more of a commercial search. So I want to make sure that my page title and meta description reflect the fact that I'm targeting a commercial searcher. So I might talk about things like get a free quote. I might talk about the fact that we offer free no obligation consultations. All of this stuff is designed to be attractive to someone who is looking to move forward on a buying journey. What about length? What's the perfect length? So the question that's on everyone's mind is what is the perfect length? Well, the perfect length for your page titles and meta descriptions Actually, it's not a particular character limit. So the challenging thing about page titles and metas is Google actually has a pixel width as a maximum length, not necessarily a number of characters. For example, if your page title for whatever reason was just the letter one over and over and over again, you could fit a lot more ones in that space than you might be able to double use. So it doesn't really make sense to have a character limit for page titles. Instead, you have a pixel width. Having said that, most page titles are between 30 and 60 characters and usually we want to give as many characters as possible in that space. There are lots of different page title and meta description length checkers that you can use online which will measure the pixels in your page title and show you where it's going to be truncated. But usually we say up to 60 characters in your page title. Now what about meta descriptions? Well between 730 and 928 pixels pretty difficult to track. So if you just stick to a limit of say 130 to 140 characters, you're usually pretty safe. Just to make things even more tricky, Google actually uses different maximum page title and meta description lengths on mobile as desktops. But generally, because you need a rule to live by, generally the best rule to live by is maximum of 60 for page titles, maximum of around 140 for meta descriptions. So let's look at some examples of perfect page titles. Perfect doesn't exist, but if it did, these would be it. So first one up here, best laptop 2019, which laptop is best for you? Why is this good? Because people are searching for best laptop 2019. So they use that at the start of the page title. That's the target keyword. 
wallop, there we go. Then we've got a variation of that phrase, which laptop is best for you? And then we've got the brand name at the end, Tech Advisor. Often you'll see Google truncate a page title to put the brand name in. So if you can put it in yourself, that's a really good thing to do because then you control how it's shown. Next example, how to get a small business loan in five steps, Nerd Wallet. People might not be looking for how to get a small business loan in five steps, but they're looking for how to get a small business loan. Five steps sounds nice and easy to consume, nice and easy to do, so that's great. So that's a really good page title. The best monthly makeup subscription boxes in 2019. People are gonna be searching for best monthly makeup subscription boxes 2019 pretty good. So you get the gist. Basically, you just want to reflect what your audience is going to be searching for in your page title. There's really no need to overthink this. What about meta descriptions? The key mistake that people make with meta descriptions is they use the same meta description for multiple pages on the website. This makes no sense because the content of every page on your site is hopefully different. So why would you describe it in the same way if it's different content? So use unique meta descriptions. Now, whilst Google doesn't necessarily look in your meta descriptions for the keywords that you wanna rank for, it's still a good idea to use your target keywords in your meta description because those are the things that your audience is looking for and we always wanna talk in our audience's language. Let's look at some examples of perfect meta descriptions. Perfect doesn't exist, but if it did, these guys would be standing on the podium. Are you looking for the best mattress for back and neck pain? Read what you need to know before purchasing a mattress for back pain. Okay, mattress for back pain is obviously the phrase that we're targeting here. And they've also kind of sown a bit of a seed of doubt in that, oh, you need to read this before you buy. So I'm likely to click on that high click through rate. Well, it definitely means more traffic, potentially means better ranking as well. Really good thing to do. Amazon, fast free shipping for Amazon Prime customers, buy carrier slings at low prices, large selection of more than 1500 products. We've got our USPs in there. We've got the fact that fast free shipping, everyone loves that. They've capitalized it to really hit us over the face with it so that's great let's have a look at santander save tax free for your first home with help to buy isa if you're a first time buyer save up to 200 pounds a month towards your first home with the help to buy isa pretty good if we're looking for help to buy isa they're repeating that but it's not become spammy benefit save up to 200 pounds a month towards your first home save tax free so it's clearly describing what's on that page i'm pretty likely to click on that here's a really good one get free instant conveyancing quotes online fill in the form for established conveyancing solicitors with genuine user feedback so we've got the benefit what i get free facts that i get instant conveyancing quotes this isn't just filling in details and someone's going to contact you and then it's established conveyancing solicitors with genuine user feedback so another benefit another usp so really good job there now one quick tip before we go writing your page titles and message descriptions is not just a one-off task you don't just write it and you're like yeah freaking smashed it off you fly my beauty to the top of google it's something that you're going to want to revisit and you're also going to want to measure the impact of changes to your page titles and meta descriptions that's why at exposure ninja when we're working on an seo campaign we'll periodically revise page titles and meta descriptions based on the click-through data that we're getting from search console so you want to change your page title and meta description after recording what the old one was and what your click-through rate was then change it have a look at how your click-through rate changes and then you might want to optimize or you might even want to revert back to your old one if your click-through rate drops as a result of the change recap step one understand what page titles and meta descriptions are they are metadata for every page on your site that give users and search engines a clear indication of what your page is called and what it's all about the first step to writing the perfect page title or meta description is spend some time on Google having a look at how they are displayed. So have a look at what sort of page titles are enticing you to click, what the format is of the page titles that are ranking best for your target phrases. Likewise with the meta descriptions, have a look at the different USPs, benefit statements and calls to action people are using in their meta descriptions to see what might be a good approach to take for you. The next thing is to understand the perfect length for page titles and meta descriptions there is no such thing as perfect but if there was it would probably be a maximum of 60 characters for your page title and around 130 to 140 characters for your meta description but always check in a pixel checker first before changing your page titles and meta descriptions
Next thing is to go and revise your page titles and meta. So write killer page titles using your target keywords at the start and your brand name at the end. Write your perfect meta description by summarizing what's on the page, why people should click on your site rather than any of the other sites in the search results, and then including some kind of call to action or next step. And then you wanna get those page titles and metas updated on your site. But you're not just gonna stick them up and leave them and never revisit them. You're actually gonna check back in Search Console to see how your revised page titles and metas have impacted your click-through rate from search results. And then once you've updated your page titles and metas, you're going to want to keep an eye on how your click-through rate in Search Console changes over time to make sure that your new changes are having a positive effect and you haven't just tanked your click-through rate and you're getting low traffic. So I hope you found this video useful on writing the perfect page title and meta description. Perfect doesn't exist, but if it did, then hopefully it will be a result of watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment if you want us to cover any other topics in our weekly, twice weekly, however many videos we do per week, uh, then leave a comment. And don't forget also to check us out on social media. We're extremely active. There's shinobis everywhere. And don't forget also, if you want some help improving your website's visibility in search, you want to generate more leads and sales through it then you can request a free website and marketing review from the ninjas at Exposure Ninja. What we'll do is take a look at your site, how you're driving traffic to it. We'll also have a look at what your competitors are doing and what's working best in your space. We'll put all of this into a 15 minute video which we'll send over to you via email usually within three to four working days. It's awesome. Go and check out some of its reviews on Google and Facebook. Until the next video keep chasing perfection. You will never attain it but hey we've got to chase something. See you soon.